Hello class, on our previous topic, we already learned about two-point charges and three-point charges. Today, uh, let's learn about uh, finding out the electrical force uh, with the four-point charges. Here is the example. We have four-point charges at point 1 and 2 with a magnitude of positive 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 coulomb and point 3 and 4 with the magnitude of negative 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 coulomb. They are situated at the corners of the square and was separated by a distance of 1 meter. So let's find out the electric force acting on point 1 exerted by the charges on point 2 3 and 4. Let's uh, write down the given. Here is our given. We have uh, Q1 is equal to Q2 which is equal to positive 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns. Then Q3 is equal to Q4 is equal to negative 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns. Those are the given. And our R or the distance is equal to 1.0 meter. Illustrate the problem. So here's the illustration of the problem. We have point charts here. Then another point charge, point charge here, and the point charge. Let's name this positive charge and also positive charge. And with these two, uh, below the two positive charges are the negative uh, charges. So let's name this as Q1, then this is Q2. This is Q3 and Q4. These are the four charges. So in our problem, it was stated that we have two positive charges. These are the two positive charges, Q1, Q2. Then we have also two negative charges. This, these are the two negative charges, Q3 and Q4. They are separated by a distance. Each of the charges are separated by uh, a distance of 1 meter. So, this is the distance. Then, this is R, 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 and R. Then, our given is our Q1 is also same as our Q2. So, Q1 equal to Q2. Uh, it means it's also equal to positive 2.8 meter. 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 volumes. Then, our Q3 and Q4 are also equal. Q3 is equal to Q4 is equal to negative 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns. Or, is equal to 1.0 meter. Okay, let's uh, find out the resultant force acting on one the force or the electric force acting on q1 which was exerted by this point charges on q2 q3 and q4 going back to our equation number one coulomb's law equation so We know that our Coulomb's law
equation is F F E is equal to K Q1 Q2 over R squared. So let's use first this equation on our first point charges. Let's find out the force acting on charge 2 or the Q2. Okay, if we have the point charges here, this is Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Okay, let's find out first the force acting on these two point charges. Okay, let's, let's name this as force 2 because this is Q2. Force 2 on 1. Okay. It's equal to K Q1 Q2 over R squared. So this is equal to 9 times 10 raised to 9 newton meter squared per column squared times Q1. Ang at, uh, our Q1 is equal to Q2 and that is positive 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 column. Let's write here on our equation that is positive 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 column that's our q1 then our q2 is also positive positive 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns all over r our r is equal to 1.0 meter. So the distance between Q1 and Q2 is 1 meter. Write it here below the equation of Q1, Q2 that is 1.0 meter squared. Okay, then let's compute. Use the calculator and The answer is 0 0.67 Newton. Because these two point charges are both positive, it means that the force present on these two point charges are repulsive. This is repulsive. Okay, next. For Q3 is equal to Q2 and that is also equal to negative 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns. Our F2 on 1 is equal to 0 0.67 Newton and that is repulsive because they are both uh, positive charges. We all know that if we have both positive charge means they repel to each other. Find out the force 3 on 1. Using the Coulomb's law equation, Fe is equal to kq1 q2 over r squared. Just rep replace uh, this symbol by uh, our new symbol here, here in our problem. So we have Q3 and Q4. Okay, let's uh, just replace this by Q1 and Q3. Then, of course, the distance that's uh, separating the two charges is again also equal to 1 meter. Our 
Coulomb's constant that is 9 times 10 raised to negative raised to 9 newton meter squared per column squared multiply by our q1 q1 is positive 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns then multiply by q3 q3 is negative negative 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns. So, again, let's divide it by the distance. Our distance is 1 meter squared. Let's compute using uh, our calculator. I get the answer of 0 0.67 newton. It means that our force force 2 on 1 is equal to 0 0.67 newton then our force 2 i mean force 3 on 1 is equal to 0 0.67 newton this is attractive because as, as you can see we have positive charge here on Q1 and negative charge here on Q3. It means that force here present on here is attractive. What if uh, we have two point charges that is located on Q1 and Q4? How can we get the point charge, uh, the electric force acting on this area with our Q1 and Q4? Since this is uh, diagonal, let's find out the, the distance by using the Pythagorean theorem. What is our Pythagorean theorem? We already uh, no, the force acting on this uh, area, which is uh, our force 2 on 1, that is 0 0.67 Newton. Then our force 3 on 1, located here, somewhere here, is F3 on 1, and that is equi equal to 0 0.67 Newton. The third force that we are going to find is what will be the force acting on this uh, two point charges and that is q1 and q4 so since this is diagonal let's use the pythagorean theorem which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared so if we have a uh, triangle here Let's name this as A, B, C. Then, this is a right triangle. Our C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And that is our A is 1 squared plus 1 squared. Getting the distance here from here so let's calculate and that is equal to 1.41 meter so this is 1 squared plus 1 squared. Our distance here is 1.41 meter. We can proceed now to our next uh, equation. Finding the electric, electric force present on this uh, two-point charges. We have our K. 
That is 9 times 10 raised to 9 newton meter squared per column squared. Then let's multiply it by Q1 and Q4. Where Q1 is positive 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 Coulomb. And our Q4, that is also neg equal to Q3. They are just the same. That is also negative. That is negative 2.8 times 10 raised to negative 6 Coulombs. Then, our distance, that the distance that we are going to use here, since this is diagonal, and we already used the Pythagorean theorem in getting this distance. So, let's put it here in our equation and that is 1.41 meter squared. That is squared. So, let's calculate the answer. The answer is, here is, 0.04 Newton so 4 on 1 is 0.04 Newton so those are the forces acting on this uh, point charge let's illustrate the forces acting on Q1 so since our Q1 and Q2 are both positive, charge here on point 2 or our Q2 will just push our charge on 1. If we have here the point 4 charges, this is positive, positive, this is negative, negative. So, the forces acting here on our force 2 on 1 is that 0 0.67 newton. So, Q2 will uh, just push the charge 1, Q1. So, uh, our force 2 or F2 on 1 is directed to the left because Q2 is pushing Q1. So this is our electric force. About in F3 on 1, we have 0 0.67 Newton. We have the two point charge here, Q1 and Q3. And the force is 0 0.67 Newton. These uh, two charges are unlike charges. So it means they are attracted to each other. Charge 1 is attracted to Q3 or charge on 3. Our F3 on 1 is directed downward because Q1 is attracted to Q3. What about here on our force 4 on 1? And that is 0 0.04 Newton. Our charge 4 is attracted to charge 1. F4 on 1 is directed downward on charge point charge 4 uh, here at Q4. It will just be attracted to this uh, charge. So this is 45 degree. So if we are going to transfer this in our Cartesian plane, it will just look like here, uh, like this. This is the Cartesian plane. This is uh, Y. This is X. Our uh, F2 on 1 is directed here. This is F2 on 1. Then our F3 on 1 is 
directed downward. This is F3 on 1. Then, our F4 on 1 is directed on downward along X and Y axis and that is 45 degree. So, this is directed here. So, uh, for us to get the resultant force of this uh, forces, we need to get the X and Y component. Because first, the 4 on 1, yes, the forces, the force is uh, slant, slanted. Let's get the horizontal and vertical component on force 1. Uh, but about here in force 2, we have the horizontal component. Then here on uh, force 3 on 1, we have the vertical component. So writing down uh, the forces. Okay, let's write down. If we have force here. We have the X and the Y component. This is Y component. Component. First, two on one. That is Okay, let's take a look for our Let's erase this Okay, let's draw our Cartesian plane This is F2 on 1 Then this is F3 on 1 Then this is F4 on one and that is 45 degrees this is the y this is x component our f2 on one we have this is directed left side of the x and y component of x and y component or on the partition plane so this is negative 0 0.67 newton then we have no Y component, this is Y, so that is 0. What about F2, F3 on 1? F3 on 1, this is, we have X component, so that is 0. And this is uh, directed downward, so that is uh, negative 0 0.67 Newton. So what about F4? on 1. We have uh, both X and Y components. So, our X component is uh, the value of the F4 on 1 that is 0 0.03 cosine 45 degrees. So, what is uh, 0 0.03 cosine 45 degree? That is 0 0.03 Newton. So, what about the Y component of F4 on 1? That is negative 0 0.03 sine 45 degree. And that is equal to negative 0 0.03 Newton. Okay, let's get the total value or uh, let's get the summation of forces along X component. And that is if 0 0.67 Newton plus 0 plus 0 0.03 Newton and that is equal to 
negative 0.64 newton. What about here in uh, y component? Okay, let's get the summation of forces along y component and that is 0 plus negative 0.67 plus negative 0.03 and that is negative 0 0.7 newton. So, let's solve for the electric force. Let us use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, F, that is F is equal to summation of forces along X component plus squared plus summation of forces along Y component squared. So, that is uh, neg negative 0 0.64 newton squared plus negative 0 0.07 newton squared and that is six point forty five newton okay try to compute in your own calculator let's solve for the direction okay let's erase this data Our total force or the electric force of the four point charges is 6.45 Newton. Then it's a solve for the direction that is angle is equal to tangent inverse tangent of power. Summation of forces along Y component over summation of forces along X component. So that is tangent negative 1 and that is, is negative 0 0.7 over negative 0 0.64. Let's compute in our calculator. And my answer here is 47.56 or 48 degree. It means that the location of the forces with the, these four point charges is like this. We have here the point four charges. This is positive, positive, negative, negative. So <laughs> our point charge here is located here. Forty five degrees. Forty five or forty eight degrees. And our force is equal to 0.45 Newton I hope you understand this uh, example